Yo, what's going on guys? It is time for another video and it's gonna be another puzzle video. This time it's a puzzle from a company called Cardinal and it's part of the Blockbuster video series. Uh, it is a movie cover from the movie called Animal House. So I didn't get this one sent out to me. I did actually buy this one on, on my own with my own money. Uh, along with five other ones from this collection. I had put up a picture of uh, six of these puzzles in a Facebook uh, jigsaw puzzle group, and this one won by quite a bit. Initially, I was thinking it was gonna be Clueless with the first handful of votes, because there was a lot of people voting for Clueless, um, but then you guys uh, came in and blew it away with Animal House, so we're gonna do the Animal House puzzle. It is only a 500 piece puzzle, um, I've, I've been alternating back and forth from 1,000 piece to 500 piece and back and forth. Um, I'm not sure, you know, if the puzzle is only what's inside this like little blue outline. I don't know if the words are actually going to be on here. Um, but there is a, not a ton, but there is a decent amount of little white space up here. Uh, I'm no stranger to that. If you've been watching my puzzle videos for a while, then you'll probably remember some of the ones I did for my own photo shoots. Uh, and I didn't think uh, in advance that when I sent those off to be printed that they had a large amount of white background. And so, um, yeah, those are difficult. So I'm sure when I get into those parts of this puzzle, it'll be a little bit more difficult. But let's go ahead and get it open. I do like that it's kind of retro and it looks like a cassette tape, a VHS tape, I should say. It does not look like they give you any kind of extra poster or anything. Uh, so this is this is a pretty small image to be working from um, as the reference, but it's only 500 pieces, so I don't think it's gonna be incredibly hard. Let's go ahead and get the bag open. All right, so pretty basic style puzzle pieces. Um, thin cardboard, just a regular brown backer on here. Uh, smooth finish, but not like a high gloss. Um, and it does look like the words are gonna be in there because I can already spot that. And not too bad on the uh, actual puzzle dust. There's a little bit here, but not a ton. So let's go ahead and just jump straight into this. Uh, my strategy is gonna be pretty basic. I'm just gonna pull out all the edge pieces and then I'll probably throw all the words into one area on one of the trays. Uh, and then there's not a whole lot of other identifying things on here that you could really separate out because it's a very, very busy image. So as I'm separating them, if I see things that I think could possibly be separated out, I'll probably group them, but I'm gonna keep it pretty, pretty basic on the uh, separating on this one. Let me grab my trays here. Probably only need about two for this. So let's get started.
All right, I'm down to the last six pieces of this puzzle. And last one. All right, let's get this full view here. There you go. So this one was fairly easy. There were a couple parts, you know, there's a lot of faces. There's a lot of stuff going on in this puzzle. So there's a handful of them that were kind of a little bit tricky to uh, figure out where they went. Uh, when I started the video, I was saying I wasn't sure if the, excuse me, <coughs> I wasn't sure if the words that are here were going to be on the puzzle and they are in fact on the puzzle. That's kind of actually where I started. It was the easiest part to complete and that's where I got started on the puzzle. Uh, the quality of it's really nice. Uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's like um, top notch, like compared to some of these other ones that I've done, uh, but it's a nice finish and uh, the pieces the pieces are a little bit loose when you lock them in so like for instance if I try to pick this up it's pretty much gonna break on me um, which I, uh, every now and then made it kind of tough to tell if I actually had the right piece in there because sometimes it looked like it was the right one on the white spots uh, but yeah it was a fun puzzle um, I've got five more from this blockbuster series to complete so um, I'll slowly start doing those and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you uh, enjoyed it or if there was anything specific about the video that you liked, leave me a comment below and tell me. Um, if you are new to my channel, please uh, subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And wait till the end screen because I've got a whole lot of other puzzle videos for you guys to check out. So if you're new to my channel, go check some of those out too. See you guys in the next one. Later.